Well, I got my first copyright strike. And let me tell you, it's some bullshit. What's going on guys? Red One here. And we're back. <laughs> uh, we're back today! With some bullshit. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what this video is about. If you don't follow me on Instagram, here's that information. Go ahead and follow your boy. So today at work, I got me a nice little notification saying that I got a motherfucking copyright strike. I was like, bitch, what is this? I'm like, something's gotta be wrong, man. Like, is this a glitch? Like, what the fuck? And I started going through my account or I clicked the little banner that popped up at the top. It says I got a fucking copyright takedown or something. Shit. Here, I'll kind of screenshot it for you. There you go. And, uh, I'm sitting here trying to figure out, like, what the fuck? Because the video in question is a video that doesn't even have music in it. I didn't use any clips of anything. It was my hit and run video and when I went to go to Amazon and what's in that video if you haven't seen it is literally just me in Long Beach riding to go to Amazon to take back some packages that I wanted to return and um, give me a minute guys I'm trying to do this safely here or as safe as possible and we're clear so the video is me riding around Long Beach, going to Amazon, dropping the packages off, and telling a story about a fucking hit and run incident that I saw on the freeway that day. That's it, dude. It's got my intro, it's got my outro, it's got video from my GoPro, but yet and still, I get a copyright notice saying that I'm using somebody else's material. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I screenshot it or whatever uh, during the little video I'd put up last week from that uh, fucking uh, compilation channel that used one of my crash videos that also used some footage from Eagle and it also used um, Frantic One's crash uh, when he was on his ground where he got really, really hurt. And you know, the dude had threatened in that email that he was going to do it to my channel. Now, some of you guys on Instagram kind of had the same question I had had. Well, when you do a takedown, don't you have to submit material saying that it's yours? And the answer to that question is yes. And this car at least is nice enough to have his fucking blinker on, which is great. Thank you. I know what you're going to do. And, um, so yeah, like, when I filed the takedown on his channel, it asked, like, at what point in his video is your material at, you know, and you, you timestamp it, and then you also throw up a link to the channel. I mean, to the actual video that you feel is, you know, copywritten or whatever so you know at least that way there's a reference right so you can see where you know the original content right and then where it was used in the video there's nowhere else on the fucking internet nice car there's nowhere else on the internet of a video of my black ass on a Jixxer 1000 Riding to Amazon talking about a fucking crash. I mean, yeah, a hit and run fucking story. No one else on the fucking internet is there one. So I'm curious, 
right? Because it didn't give me much information. It only gave me the name and an email address. So what I'm wondering is was the footage taken, like downloaded and re-uploaded to another channel and then they're trying to use that as justification? I mean, that's like literally the only thing I can think about for that fucking situation to work. Unless, you know, some other fuck shit's going on that I don't know about. But, dude, it's fucked, man. And, like, Snowcat was pointing out on the comment on Instagram, you know, and a couple other people, too, is, man, if it's that easy to get somebody's fucking videos taken down, um, holy shit, YouTube, you need to, like, step your game up when it comes to reporting shit, man. You know, I mean, I understand you can't fucking go back and track every fucking thing and it's all done automated or, you know, it's all automated or whatever. Thank you. Let me buy. Thank you. Creeping through. Open it up. All right. Um, you know, I, I know YouTube doesn't have the staff or whatever to be able to fucking go through every fucking thing. Right. But maybe they do if somebody tries to dispute the shit. So that's what I did. So, doing a copyright strike like I had, um, or a takedown, it asked if I wanted to fight it, or if I just wanted to um, ask the, uh, the claimant uh, to change it or some shit. And I'm like, I ain't asking that motherfucker for shit. I'm, no, hell no, nah, man. I'm fucking disputing that shit. And that's what I did. And pretty much in my reply, I put, you know, I am the owner of this content. I shot and edited this content. There was no compilation done in this. You know, this is my original footage. So I was notified that the that the claimant, some dickhead, has 10 days to reply to prove that the content is theirs or some shit, you know, that they have the legal right or whatever. Which there's no way in hell, dude. Like, come on, YouTube. Seriously. It was shot with this fucking camera. Spoken by this fucking voice. Edited on my goddamn computer. And uploaded. B bitch, read an IP address or some shit. You'll see that shit came from my house. Like, what the fuck? Ugh. It's a fuck situation, man. Like. I I, like, honestly, I wouldn't have thought it would be that easy to take down content, man. Pretty amazing. But I will keep you guys notified, keep you guys up to date on what the fuck's going on. You know, I'm not too pissed off because, yes, it's a copyright strike, but it's not like a hard strike or whatever, right? Like, I, I can still monetize. It seems like I can still do live streams. Nothing was truly affected. It just seems like that one video is down. You know what I mean? Um, so it's kind of uh, kind of interesting. But if I need to forward that email over to Google or YouTube, I will definitely do that and say, hey, this is what this fucker put in the email, threaten to uh, fucking, you know, do some shit to my channel also. Um, because, like, I went back to try to reference the email from the claimant versus that greatest hits fucking channel email address and they're two different channels but if the dude's monetized then he's got some kind of public information or he has his name linked through AdSense or whatever so I don't know if you know YouTube can fucking cross check that to make you know whatever man I, I don't know but I just want to let you guys know that yeah I got my fucking first copyright strike it's a bullshit one you know what I mean like like I said it's not even one that has music and shit on it <laughs> Just literally me talking. No, come on over. Dude, you're good. You're good. You signaled. You, okay, you let me over. Well, thank you. So, with that being said, guys, let me get the fuck up out of here. Get home. This is the fucking traffic that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis riding home. But, uh, I'm Red One, and as always, ride safe. And all that other she. <laughs>